Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA The Bag Lady. It is Wednesday, April 13th, and what I have today is a designer box. Um, so, for those of you that don't know me, again, my name's Jamie, AKA The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist, um, and I really should be doing that right now but I'm taking a 15 minute or so minute break because I got a designer box dropped on my porch today. So, um, I should have undid the tape prior to filming, but I am getting better at it. I'm learning to cut away from myself. So this designer box comes from Swanee, Georgia, and it is, um, of course, this last side's gotta give me grief. Um, okay, so it comes from Swan, Georgia, and it's actually pretty heavy. So I don't know, no clue what is in here, but I do have it open. And um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that reached out um, about my announcement in the last video. It, it really means the world to me, um, all of the support, the love, the kindness, um, so thank you. But with that, look, we got a designer box. I ordered it. It is really heavy, you guys. I don't know what's in there. Um, I ordered it on April 5th. Okay. All right, I see clothing on top. Here is the first glance. So, let's see. Item number one is Dries Von Noten. It's a size medium, and it's like a sweatshirt with a little zipper detail on the shoulder. It's like a three-quarter sleeve. It, it looks like an oversized medium. Oh, and it's kind of like... It's got the little kangaroo, oh no, it's pockets, not kangaroo pouch, but pockets. Um, so, okay, so we're talking a fancy dancy sweatshirt, size medium. Um, I have heard of this brand before. I don't know if it sells for a whole lot. It's cute, I mean, this top is super cute. I can see it with a pair of leggings, um, you know, just kicking it. But anyway, here, I'm looking at it and not showing you guys. Here is the tag. So, again, it's this oversized medium. I mean, really. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing anything, any stains or anything. Well, a little bit of spooge there, but I can th easily just throw this in the wash. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> we'll have to do some research and see what that's all about. And we have Isabel Morant, this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous lace cream top. I thought I saw something on here. Okay, let's see what size this is. This is a size 36, so whatever that equates to. Um, and, you know, nothing is jumping out at me as far as damages, which is good because the last Isabel Morant piece that I got, it had that hole right in the front. I still haven't listed it. I haven't decided if I'm going to. But anyway... Um, wow, this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Uh, it's viscoed and poly made. Oh, wow. Anyway, I love this. I actually, mm, no, it is not going to fit me, but that's adorable. Okay, next up we have, what the what? 
Okay, so this is Salvatore Ferragamo, and you know what? I normally wouldn't get excited about a Ferragamo piece, but this is stinking cute, you guys. I mean, a crop jacket with a drawstring. I do see it's got something up here, but you know what? I bet you I can soak that out. Um... I don't see anything else wrong with it. I don't, I'm not seeing the size. I do see something in the pocket though. Okay. So actually, yeah, this is a 40. Um, size 40. And what does it say? There's, I know I see. Oh yeah, there is. There is some light staining on this, so I am definitely going to have to um, wash this piece. Yeah, somebody somebody spilled all over it and then didn't clean the piece. But anyway, um, it's a size 40. It is Salvatore Ferragamo crop jacket. Super, super cute. I'm in love with it. I might actually... I don't know. I I don't know if I'm going to keep it for myself or not, you guys. But definitely going to soak it and get those stains out, which should be easy. Oh, my God. There is a bag in here, you guys. And I, it's got to be what's weighing it down. Okay. So, I got this beautiful black pebbled leather tote Alexander Wang I think that's a good brand Ooh, doggy this tote is it's gorgeous I mean if you could feel how supple the leather is I mean yeah it's you know, it, it does, it's got a little bit of wear, you know, but Doc Martin, this bad boy up and shit, this is a great bag. So Alexander Wang leather bag. I don't know what the resale value is on it, but I'm not mad about that because I like it. And... I see some shoes. The rest of it is all shoes. And we got Prada, baby. We got Pradas. Um, they're all tangled up together. So, um, cute little Prada sandals. They definitely, definitely need some cleaning up. I don't know if I can read the size on them. There is stickers on the bottom. Oh, these are a 38. So they're actually my size, but they need a lot. They need a lot of cleaning up. There's like, anyway, they're cute. I will clean them with rubber gloves on and list those. Or maybe send them to the real real. I don't know. Next up is these shoes, which, no, oh, fucking Stuart Weitzman. Um, and they're nasty. They look big. I don't know. Um, do they have a size? They're a 10. They're a size 10. So, I don't know. They got some heel drag. They're Stuart Weitzman. I don't know. Maybe I'll list them for 20 bucks. We'll see. I have an itch, but I am not touching my face after touching shoes with my fingers. So, the last thing that I have is boots and it's killing me because I know these are going to be awesome and they're not my size because they're gargantuan. Well, here's boot number one, Aqualita, size 12. So these, I bet you, I almost think that these are a man's boots. Isaac. What do you want me to do with them? Um, honey, I'm doing a video, so. I know, but he's muddy. You, well, clean them up. 
pick them up, get a washcloth and wipe his paws with a washcloth, honey. Don't let him get mud all over the floor. Anyway, sorry guys, Aqualita. Um, and honestly, these appear to be, un, you know, not even worn. So like I said, I don't know if they're a men's or a woman's, but I definitely know for sure they are size 12. I think they're a men's. Um, but I will be sending these in to the real real. So, um, not my style, but anyway, brand new designer boots. That's the end of the box. So let's go, let's go back over it. We got these, what, aqua, aquatalia. Oh, I, was I saying aqualita before? It's aquatalia. I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, aqua something boots, men's boots, size 12. We have this incredible, incredible Alexander Wang leather tote. We got this super cute Salvatore Ferragamo cropped jacket. Another adorable, absolutely gorgeous item, Isabel Morant. And I will probably send this into the real real as well. I'm thinking, oh shit, was I even counting? I don't think I counted. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Yeah, I got seven items. Anyway, so, okay, this is number, I don't know. Anyway, we got that. And then we have this Dries Van Noten. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this brand, so I'll research it. It's a cute sweatshirt top. And, you know, hopefully I can make my money back on the piece. Um, and then we've got... We've got the Prada sandals that need cleaning up. And I feel like I have sold this shoe before or a shoe very, very similar to this. Um, and then we have the Stuart Weitzman. So that's it for my designer box. Um, what do you guys think? I think, you know what? Um, I think I have a really good shot at making my money back and turning a profit. So, um, you know what? We'll see. Uh, I'm excited about the box. I think there's some cute pieces. I can't wait to see if I can get the stains out of that Salvatore, Fel, ugh, Salvatore Ferragamo piece because I have a feeling that that would be a piece that I that would probably fetch, fetch a decent amount maybe on the real real. But I don't know. I'm going to have to look and see what the retail price was on it. Um, but with that, I am going to get going, you guys. I don't know that I'll have content for Friday or I may even save this for Friday. Um, I do, I, I did get a Goodwill purse box auction and I got it from a, a, an auction. So I, I think it's seven bags. I, I think it's seven bags and oh, I'm so pissed. I was bidding on, <coughs> excuse me, a lot the other night of, <coughs> excuse me. these three Michael Kors bags. And, you know, I get it. Michael Kors is kind of like fading a little bit, but these were really, really nice bags. And one of them was like a vintage. Anyway, I really wanted these fucking bags. And I went to try to place my bid and I don't know what happened. My phone froze. It would not let me place a bid. And those damn bags went for 20 bucks. I was so mad. Then there was another round and the same damn thing happened. My phone locked up again and wouldn't let me place the bid. And then by the time it did let me place the bid, I got an auction ended message. Well, if you'd let me place my bid 30 seconds ago when I first hit the button, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, so I do, I do have, I, I did score one. Um, per slot and I, so I've got that coming and I also scored a sleepwear box today and I don't think I've ordered anything else because 
I am committed to work in the death pile. Um, I've been listing items, a couple of items every day. I, I've been listing out of my boxes that I've been undoing for you guys, but I've also been trying to list an item or two out of my death pile because it's large. It's a very large pile and it unfortunately currently sits in mom's room because my house is so small um, and she desperately wants it out of her room. So I, I'm working on it a piece at a time. But with that, I'm going to go. Peace out.